Oh, I had a good thought and I lost it. I'm Mo and I do this when I talk. What's up guys? Mo and Meg here again and today we want to spread some positive vibes. Today we're going to be talking to you guys about our tips and tricks on how we live a positive lifestyle and how we remain happy in a pretty negative world. We realize that life isn't always easy. I know personally Mo and I have had our shares of hard times in this life as most people have. We wanted to share how we made it through those hard times and what we've learned over the years and give you some tips and tricks and maybe they can be beneficial to some of you out there. So my first tip or something that I've learned over the years is to not make a mountain out of a molehill. Don't make a small problem bigger than it needs to be. This is something that I have struggled with over the, over the years. Like I still struggle with it, um, especially because I have anxiety. So small things can really turn into something big for me. And I have to realize that that's going to get me nowhere because then I'll emotionally and mentally exhaust myself. And then when something big does happen, then I just, I'll have no energy and I'll freak out and it won't end well for anybody. It just kind of somersaults. It's into just, it like all those emotions. Yeah, so it's just kind of like, don't sweat the small stuff because there could be bigger things that need more of your focus and more of your attention um, later down the road. So, like, the small things that you think are like awful, really, if you really rethink them, are probably not as big as you thought them to be. Don't focus your energy on things that don't affect you and don't affect your the grand scheme and the big picture of your life it's just it's not worth it yeah and it's like if you do like for me like when you do feel like the the anger starting to boil up or whatever you just stop you breathe and you refocus kind of going along with what mo said and not sweating the small stuff i find that a lot of times our emotions can dictate how we react to things so one thing i've learned over the years and something that's taken me a quite a bit of time to learn and understand is that waiting 24 hours after a situation happens can be one of the best things you can do. Let's say your best friend and you get into a fight, they say something mean to you, say something nasty, whatever. Instead of taking that current state of emotion, which is probably anger, sadness, frustration, whatever negative energy it may be, and translating that outward in some sort of reaction and saying something you might regret. Yeah, you don't want to say anything that you're going to regret. Take 24 hours in any type of situation it is. You, you get a bad grade on a test, some, you know, a loved one passes away. Allow your brain to kind of process everything that has happened rather than acting out of emotion that is going to pass in maybe five minutes, maybe an hour, maybe a day. Let your logic kick in mm -hmm. and that's how you should react to a situation. Yeah, I absolutely agree. So my next tip or piece of advice is to not let your fears hold you back from something you want to do. Oh, I love this one. Yeah. That's a good one. So it's like, don't be afraid to take that chance. Like, if you have that hesitation, like, don't let that take over you. And then down the road, be like, crap, I really should have taken that opportunity. I should have gone on that adventure. And having regrets is no way to live. Yeah, so it's, if you want to do something, just jump in with it with your whole heart and just do it. And then you're gonna have those memories and you're gonna be like, you're gonna look back and it's gonna be like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. No matter how cheesy and corny it is, you have one life mm -hmm. and don't spend it wishing and hoping. Put the work yeah. in and do what you have to do to live mm -hmm. the life that you want. Like you kind of just have to be like, like Go I want, it. like I want it. So I'm gonna work my way to it and not live my life wondering like, what if. This next one I have kind of goes along with that as yeah, well. I have like, yeah. Similar things going on. Yeah, it kind of goes along with it, and that is learning the power of patience. I'm a firm believer in patience is everything, and good things come to those who wait. I know we live in a society where you want things here and now. Yeah, and like instant gratification. Yeah, and that's just not how it works. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the universe aligns for everybody, and in time, you will receive those blessings and you will receive those opportunities. But in the meantime, don't sit around, you know, don't sit around waiting for it. Yeah, like, Still like, live your life and like look be, at what's in front of you. One of my favorite quotes is, no plans for tomorrow can be made for those who don't have the capacity to live for what's happening right now. And if you are constantly focusing on tomorrow, constantly focusing on the future and what's to come, your life is going to pass you by. So have faith and patience. No good things will come. And in the meantime, work for what you want. 
and be happy with what you have. Yeah. Enjoy what blessings you have every day you wake up. I mean, waking up breathing is a blessing in itself. Yeah. So enjoy the here and now and be patient for what's to come because only good can come. My last tip that I found is very, very beneficial is if you already are living a positive life and you are a positive person, like don't keep that to yourself. Spread the happiness and the positivity around to those who are around you because they're going to benefit from it as well. Even just a smile can completely change somebody's day, you know, and you don't realize that until you do it. Or if you just walk up and be like, hey, how's your day going? Like, how you doing? Like, that can completely boost somebody's mood and make them feel really good. And you like, you did that, you know, because you're not keeping, like, holding the positivity here. You're letting it go and then it's going to show and other people are going to gravitate towards that and want that as well. <laughs> like, and you shouldn't do it to be like, I made that person feel good today. It should be like, it should just come naturally and, like, you should want to make people feel good and feel good about themselves and, like, you know, if you notice that somebody's having a tough day, like, I know, you know, Megan and I will watch Vine compilations or oh like, <laughs> watch funny videos and it's like, like, one of the things I believe in is, like, laughter is the best medicine, so if you can, like, make somebody laugh or just crack a smile, like, I think that's awesome. Like, I think that really just changes the way you're viewing the day, honestly. There's no better feeling than making somebody feel like a somebody. Yeah. Biggest thing I've learned in this life, and my dad taught me this from the time I was very young, is learn to accept. And what I mean by, you know, learn to accept is every person, every situation, anything that comes into your life is never going to be perfect. And I believe that we live in a world where we strive for perfection. You see people and, and movies that portray anything as this fantasy like world. It's so unrealistic, but people want to achieve that, and it's like some of that stuff's never going to happen. Exactly. You know? So I think if you learn to accept, for example, let's talk about people. You have best friends, you have family members, maybe significant others. No matter how much you love that person, they're not perfect, and that's okay. Learn to accept what you hate about them. Yeah, basically, they're you know, warts and all, you know? you know? Learn to accept those things because once you do, and once you're able to step back and say, wow, I really hate that they chew their food like a cow, but you know what? <laughs> that's okay. I, I love that person anyway for it. That's how they are. You're going to be so much happier. Nope. Accept what you can't change about people. Accept what you can't change about yeah. life. There are going to be situations that hit you that suck and that may break your heart and may flip your whole world upside down, but that's life. And that, that may be a harsh yeah. statement, but that's it's so life. true though. It yeah. is true. Like you have to accept and another thing, and we're, we're doing lots of quotes and stuff in this one, but like you have to accept the things you can't change. Absolutely. And it's like, you know, like I can't change this horrible situation that it happened to that just happened to me, but it's like I can come through it and grow through it and learn from it and just accept it for what it is. Like, I can't change it. Once you learn how to accept external factors and external things that affect you, only then will you learn that the only thing you can really change is yourself mm -hmm. and how you react to situations, like I said earlier, how you portray yourself to other people. I believe it all comes full circle and the first step of that is acceptance. And once you learn that, you know, it, it can really change your whole outlook on life. That's all we have for you today. We really hope that you come from this video with something beneficial. Like, we hope that what we said resonated with so at least one of you. If that, if that happens, then that's awesome. That you can take something from this video and maybe just change how your day goes the next tomorrow or the next day. And be like, oh, I watched that in a YouTube video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember that and I'm gonna <laughs> live it that way, you know? I, I just hope somebody out there got something from this video. I'm no philosopher on life, but what I have learned is once you are able to achieve inner peace, your entire world gets better. And I find that, you know, the steps Mo and I both said, or the tips and tricks Mo and I both said, really help you achieve that inner peace and that inner well-being where you're able to spread that positivity to other people. So. Yeah. Like Mo said, we hope at least one of you took something from this video or are able to relate to this and say, you know what, I do that too. And yeah, but like, and this is, I was like, oh, I can definitely change that yeah. based on what we said. So I really hope that happened. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Dang it.
Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Make sure to check out Mo's vlog channel. It will be linked down below and subscribe to her. She has some really good vlogs going up weekly. And like I said, that is all we have for today. So on that note, we will see you guys next Friday. I think it's